Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a call if you guys are looking to improve your credit score, lower your car payment, buy a car, trade in a car. Uh, if you're looking to purchase your first home, if you're looking to purchase a rental property, we can help you. Give us a call today, 877-205-7771. Talk to you guys soon and thanks again. Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. I uh, want to talk about a very important uh, topic uh, that used to pop up when I was actually selling vehicles, um, you know, for Nissan. I sold cars for six years and during that time frame, a lot of people used to always ask me, should they go with a warranty? So now, to answer your question, it really all depends. Number one, the biggest thing is how long you're going to be driving the vehicle. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, I have my real estate license, so I do a lot of driving. So I bought a car with very low miles, a 2014 vehicle with 16,000 miles, and I bought it in 2017. Okay. And at the time that I bought it, um, you know, of course, even though it had low miles, I still bought a warranty. Why? Because I knew I was going to be driving a lot, so I didn't want to have to worry about maintenance on the vehicle, uh, paying for oil changes, tire rotations, uh, brakes, and things of that sort. So a lot of that has been covered with the warranty that I have you know through the automaker uh, or the manufacturer so that's one thing you always want to get a warranty that's being sold by the manufacturer just because you're buying a Nissan at a Nissan dealership does not mean you're getting a Nissan warranty so you have to ask them what type of warranty is this 90% of the time they have a brochure to show what packages and what's covered under those packages you want to try to get something that's with the brand now let's say if you find a killer deal um, at a place that only sells used cars more than likely they won't have a manufacturer's warranty now you're probably thinking well Calvin can I just buy that particular warranty you can but there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's not covered uh, that doesn't mean also though that if you buy something from the manufacturer that things are gonna be covered too you just want to make sure that you get enough coverage for yourself here's the difference though if you buy a used vehicle from a place that only sells used vehicles which means they don't specialize specifically in uh, selling a warranty that's gonna cover that particular vehicle so that means that you would have to pay out of pocket pocket and actually go to a manufacturer and then purchase a different types of warranty. Some manufacturers don't sell outside warranties to vehicles that they haven't done a pre-checkup on. It's essentially kind of covering a vehicle without knowing anything about it. Okay. Which leads me to my next point. Well, I'll go ahead and explain it now. If you're getting phone calls saying that your vehicle warranty is about to expire or things that you're getting in the mail, Please, I, I recommend disregard it. A lot of those things just really suck, and they just and they know that they can sell people on fear. Uh, I see it all the time. Um, I people that I sold cars to a year later, they got something in the mail saying, "Hey, your warranty is about to expire, or it's expired. Get this warranty. It only costs four hundred dollars. Now you've paid this money, and it's crap. It doesn't cover anything. And then worse." They for completely forgot about the, the manufacturer's factory warranty that was still on the vehicle. Of course, one of the best warranties that are out there is the Kia and Hyundai warranty. It was at 10 years, 100,000 miles. Since I sold Nissans, we used to have a joke like, of course, it's a Kia or a Hyundai. It would need 10 years or 100,000 miles. So, but either way, um, you know, so, but again, don't forget to, about your factory warranty before you start buying stuff, you know. So that kind of goes into how long you're going to be keeping the vehicle. If you're going to keep the vehicle for a short period of time it's, and it's brand new, it's got low miles, I really don't recommend it. I recommend a maintenance plan that's different from a warranty. A warranty is going to cover like mechanical you know, issues and things of that sort, things that may pop up later down the line versus a maintenance plan. Um, of course, that's going to cover oil changes, tire rotations, it's already financed. Now you're going to pay a little bit of interest on that, but at least you have to, don't worry about you know going there and going to the counter. Every time I take my car to the dealership uh, to get you know the work done or whatever, then of course I never get a bill. It's just I have to do the sign off on it. It's at zero because I package that into it when I first bought the vehicle. So just little things like that are going to play a major role. Don't worry about the phone calls. Don't worry about the stuff, letters and, that you get in the mail. It may be time to trade the car in. You know, that plays a major role because I've seen a lot more people um, trade in vehicles or sell ve I'm sorry. Yeah. Trade in their vehicle or pay off a vehicle that had a warranty that they never use. This isn't like a appliance warranty, a home warranty or something like that. I'm not knocking warranties, but you have to ask yourself how long you're gonna end up keeping it because warranties are not, they're not cheap. A, a cheap warranty is $1,500 and that's 
For every thousand you finance, that's about twenty dollars a month. So twenty, so a thousand and five hundred. That's thirty dollars a month on top of your payment for a warranty you may not use. Now let's say you just bought a car. Okay, car guys are gonna hate me for this one. But let's say you just bought a car and you're like, man, you know what? I really don't want that warranty. You got a very short period of time. Um, every manufacturer is different. Some people are thirty days. Some people are ninety days. Some people are hundred and eighty days. Some people are for a year. But you can go back to the dealership and they can refund you the warranty. Um, so normally how it works though, they don't they won't cut you a check because they got paid from who you're financing the vehicle with, okay? The lien holder. So more than likely that amount is going to be applied to your overall principal that you owe. And in some cases, the payment will go down. But in most cases it won't. So you're probably like, well, Calvin, well, how do I benefit from that? Well, let's say you finance 30 grand, you bought a two thousand dollar warranty, you cancel the warranty out let's say within a couple months or whatever because you just really haven't used it now they're going to subtract that two thousand dollars from the 30 that you borrowed now your principal's twenty eight thousand your payment is going to more than likely say the same because that's what you signed your name to but you're going to pay it off about what's that about six months of no faster than you normally would have if you would have kept that warranty so but either way hope that kind of helps you guys i know a lot of people always get you know warranty questions and should i buy this for my car and things of that sort at the end of the day it's up to you it's however you want to do it but but again, be, just make sure that you read what these warranties cover because a lot of most of the things that don't even happen are the things that are covered by the warranty. But maintenance is something that you're going to always have to get. So I, I think that's a, a bigger bang for your buck as well as uh, tire and wheel protection as well too because flat tires happen. You got to change tires all the time. That stuff does happen, okay? So if you like this video, like it. You want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day.